diese spontane Zündung lässt die Flammen mehr als 70 Meter hoch in den Himmel schießen. Die 25 Tonnen Styrol explodieren auf einen Schlag. Daher brennt das Feuer nicht lange. Die ganze Gegend wurde in Mitleidenschaft gezogen. With the flames impinging on the vapor space of the tank, the temperature of the tank metal, uncooled by liquid, rises. At some point, due to the vapor pressure from within, the tank metal begins to weaken, stretch, and eventually tear. As the tank comes apart, large quantities of both liquid and vapor are released in a powerful explosion. The heat radiated is sufficient to ignite combustibles and cause burns great distances from the explosion. He's filing a story for Time magazine when the Japanese, who have been relatively silent, suddenly strike. You saw it before you heard it. The explosion ripped through the upper part of the Falcon 9 rocket before it collapsed in flames on the launch pad at Cape Canaveral. The rocket was being fueled at the time and was due to launch in two days. It had intended to carry a $200 million satellite for Facebook that would have provided internet access to large parts of Africa. Video again. What the f a gas station or something. No, oh, it's a gas. Whoa! Whoa! Oh! What the? Oh! No! What? No, baby! Oh, no! Are we the gas here? Yeah, we're dangerous. Oh my god! Oh dear! Are you filming? Yes, I'm filming! Oh shit! Cover your ears, Oh shit! This is gonna suck. <laughs> <laughs> That's it!